welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Sejuani. Another donation deck that we have today. We had the two donation decks with Twisted Fate. Um, and those are kind of bookending our meme tier Monday, which were the other two decks. This deck looks really solid, though. We're pairing um, Bilgewater and Freljord together, getting a whole bunch of Plunder stuff, combining... Um, you know, combining Starlet Seer with some of these Plunder cards like Ember Maiden, um, Ruthless Raider, we got that combo in here. Wolf Rider to help us ramp. Um, but, you know, we can still pump up our, our own allies with Hearthguard, Starlet Seer, Omen Hawk. Um, and we go to our top end of Citrus Courier, being able to help us rally, get more attacks. And Tusk Raider, um, getting us our Sejuani and everything. A lot of fun cards in here. Lots of twos, lots of threes. Uh, this deck looks pretty solid just from from looking at it. You know, I don't. There's not like a bad card in here, so let, I'm excited to try it out. Let's go ahead and play. So we're gonna play five games in ranked. Uh, these donation decks, these are viewer submitted decks. They were donated for if you would like your deck played on stream and also for a YouTube video. Just a ten dollar donation, and there's a donation link in the video description for those y'all watching on YouTube later on. Alright, let's keep our two drops. We'll mulligan Sejuani. On second thought, let's keep Sejuani. It's a good top end card. We already have these. It's probably good to keep Sejuani. Should I build Sejuani Swain or use Frostbite Sejuani for the next week of climbing? I like both those options. Those are both great options. Uh, yeah, I mean, hard to say. I, they're both great options, whichever one you want to do. I pull the strings. Elusive has got you all the way out of silver. Nice. Very nice. This Ember Maiden round start deal one to everything a card. It could be pretty sweet. We're going to be taking some damage. Okay. Fire knows its own. You know, we can kill that spider that Elise just made, kill this warden's prey. Deal one damage to them. You dare. They'll never feel the cold. Wanna block? And now we get merchant, merchant, pilfer goods. Say that's a desirable turn four. Burn them all. Do they have backup police? There's they do have backup police. You dropped something. I'll right, we'll play that thing. Hmm. Go ahead. I guess maybe I need to make it rain. Withering Whale. What does he want from me? That's pretty good. good. Fortunately, just five mana. I don't get to make it rain and merchant and pilfer goods. I'll do this right now before they you know, get another ally out. These things are too fearsome to block. Is 
there a tier list for the boards? I mean, Freljord has to be S tier, right? Yeah, I, I love this Freljord board. This is maybe my favorite board. Oh no! I get to level up Callista. Their Warden's Prey also created a Caustic Cask. You're liking the new arcade board? Yeah, that'll be a good one to see. You own what you take. Stand and fight. The problem with attacking with these is it could make a, a Withering Whale really good for them. Like if they just go block, 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 Withering Whale, clean this all up. I don't like that. You have to get me out of here. Really hoping they don't have another Elise. Another Callista. Or get a spider. Show them our teeth. Ugh. Leave no survivors. Add this to your bill. Fire beware. basically just worried about my life total. I think that if the game goes long, we'll be good. But I have to be worried about my life total. Card to be worried about as well. So we played in this, I'm playing the Starlet Seer first so I can start pumping something up. You weren't using it. I never disclose my sources. Ah, oh, an auspicious season. You weren't using it. Sherry, not stealing. Yeah, these are <laughs> this would be a good winter. not good cards to get. Did have that withering whale. <laughs> um, I mean, I think this game's just over. Figured out my plan. 
I think my plan is to have this Fury of the North on like the Twisted Fate to block this They Who Endure and to try to not take lethal from it in that route. No, oh, well. <clears throat> in that match, we took we took all their really super crappy cards and <laughs> gave them They Who Endure Atrocity. We need to take They Who Endure Atrocity. Like those are the two important cards. Instead of you know, getting all the hapless aristocrats and all that kind of junk. I don't want a second Ruthless Raider. Keep the first. Have Raider, Ember Maiden. Yeah, you know, or if I could have, you know, found like a Vengeance from them. To protect against that, something like that. This land is ours. The Winter's Claw. So this will do one damage to that thing, and now we'll have Make It Rain be able to do the other damage. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Worked out well. That worked out pretty well. Merchants take something. Jaw hunters, cool. And then we're going to elixir. I'm elixir of iron my Ember Maiden so it doesn't die at the beginning of the turn. And we do one to everything. Put him down to six. Awesome. Wish we had the one more mana and we could Citrus Courier this this turn. That would be great. Um, I think it's Hearthguard. The war mother will unite us Don't think we really need to play the black market merchants. Burn them all. Danger paid. Hmm. So that challenge, Hearthguard. I wanted to play Citrus Courier, but I think I think it's a better play. Better than <laughs> yeah, get rid of those grass being dying. Nice, good job, Nicole. A quick four back-to-back -back victories. Awesome. Blood and guts. Golden glory. Yeah, quick four victories. All back-to-back. -back. Nice. Alright, let's just go ahead and attack on in there. And I'm going to pull this thing over here. Keep them from gaining life as long as we can. Hopefully kill them with these. And if it doesn't work, a little Citrus Courier. Um, seems like a desperate move. Obviously, I could Vengeance that, but... I'll just let that happen. It's my ship. It's our ship. Vengeance wasn't necessarily a free win. I don't know, maybe they had some kind of two mana removal spell. I think I felt like this was a safer play, was Citrus Courier was a safer free win.
Yeah, and plus, I like I like oranges. I like citrus. Oranges are good. Let's carry some citrus. wasn't guaranteed like vengeance wasn't a guaranteed win they could have been playing absorb that would have saved them um glimpse beyond glimpse beyond would have saved them if they just sacrificed the thing that gains them two life if i go vengeance they go glimpse beyond or absorb or what is it absorb soul that card Am I supposed to keep Hearth Garden? Maybe. Hey, Candice. Happy Monday. Having a good stream today. We're on our, our last deck. We've uh, yeah, got a new patch announcement. The so cards are going to be updated on Wednesday, and that looks like a lot of good changes. And yeah, it's been a good stream today. Like the worst card to hit with Omen Hawk is your the most expensive card, like the Tusk Rider. That is just the worst card to hit. Really doesn't matter if Tusk Rider is a 7 7 or an 8 8, that makes no difference in the game whatsoever. <laughs> Which that an ascended golden demise, basically. Grenadier is a better blocker against Crimson Disciple, but I could play Twisted Fate, Gold Card, kill the 3 2 immediately. I'll go Grenadier. The reason why I'd want to do tw Twisted Fate, though, is to get that in play with, you know, the assumption that I'm going to be going Hearth Card next turn because of how big this thing is, and then maybe like Courier after that, and so on, and just getting this in play and going towards a level up. War Mason, reporting for duty. For the glory of Noxus. Ruin up some trouble. Sure about that? <laughs> no, I'm not sure about that. Decided to use Elixir of Iron. Could have like this thing die to make it rain now if we draw that. Or just a fate red card. But we're playing 6-6. Six, six. Do they have one of their champions? They're going Vi Heimerdinger for their champions. Vi stands for violence. Sejuani. I do like Vi at the top end of a burn deck. I was thinking about doing that tomorrow, actually, is playing burn, but with Vi and... Um, probably like Vi, Vi Swain. Swain Vi. In position. Behind you. Death doesn't 
scare me. That can't make sense. This is our homeland. It's going to be close. The problem with attacking with Sejuani is Sejuani just matches up so poorly against Vi. Doesn't kill Vi. I think I'd just attack with these two. Maybe you need a closer look. I should have checked about Sejuani leveling up. I didn't realize that she was the only one away from leveling up. Maybe I should have parlayed first. Gosh, so close. So close. So close. They left me alive. That was a mistake. Yeah, like we had that one if they didn't have you know, they had to have five points of burn in their hand. Like you know, not even like blockers. They had to have five points. I mean, they had to have, no, you know, they had to have nine points at the end. And yeah, they had decimate and then fervor and um, and get excited. So yeah, they had they had the nine points of burn. After, after their day, you know, after attackers, we were at nine. All we had to do was, you know, be able to play citrus courier with plunder the next turn, but couldn't. All right, so we are playing against Twisted Fate, Gangplank. Get rid of those. Um, I don't know, Lucian. I mean, Lucian's a good card. I don't know in particular why you're seeing more than normal. I mean, it's just how you're getting paired, I guess. But yeah, Lucian's good. Demacia's very good. Stealing the steel. Treasures of the ages for a price. I'll burn for what I've done. Unfortunately, they took my. They likely took my other ally that had the plus one plus one with the Omen Hawk. Yeah, they took Pilfer Goods. Pilfer goods, they pilfer goods is amazing. And they took my black market merchant. Cool. Just get to go infinite. Of irons. Keep my elixir of iron around to protect these other things. I don't know if that was my twisted fate or theirs. No. 
I'm just jealous. You know, my opponent got to steal all of my steel stuff. I took a sleight of hand, but I'm jealous. I wish I could have taken, you know, pilfer goods and black market merchants like they took from me. Oh, right, they can't steal champions, right? Right, so that's obviously their twisted fate, not mine. Many tribes under one banner. That's obviously my Avaros and Hearth card, though. We fight for one frail yard. You own what you take. <laughs> I know. Why do we play just good cards? Now that all they have are good cards. What are we doing? Smiling. One good turn, a eh, friendo. I'm glad I saved that elixir of iron. You know, I'd rather save this twisted fate <clears throat> than those other cards that I didn't save. Come on. My Tusk Raider. So I would like to pass back, but if I pass back, they could just end the turn, and that's a huge problem. If, because like if they attack with that, I could block with Sejuani, kill their thing with Parlay, and play a new Sejuani. But that would be assuming they attack. I could also just use Fury of the North. Play this Wolf Rider without getting a mana gem. Varg offers a challenge. Prove your worth. Burn me at sea. I'd like to draw another Sejuani here. Get another Fury of the North, that would be nice. Ooh, Citrus Courier is nice as well. Thank you. I will also take that. Alright, so they block... They block my 5-2. Easy. off. where our make it rains went. Huh, that's weird. This my ship. Gonna take nine. 
<laughs> make it storm, right? Yeah, their cards still have the double effect. Like, they still have the, the plunder Tusk Raider effect. Correct, yes. Yeah, so leveled up Twisted Fate always does blue card first, then red card, then gold card. Non-leveled up Twisted Fate, you get to choose which one of the three you would like to play. Leveled up Twisted Fate always follows the same pattern. Alright, so we parlay, and then either Sleight of Hand and Wolf Rider or Tusk Raider. And I think, obviously, the answer is Tusk Raider. Looks like they're going to be going with the uh, alligator, shark, whatever that card's called. Which, even if that thing's doubled, okay, it's not doubled. I don't like how each one of these does three cannonballs, honestly. Cannon barrage. I don't like how they each do three. Because, like, it does two, or if it's gone, it does one. Like, it should just. Each one of those should do, like, two cannonballs, not three. Roll, my warriors. You own what you take. We own all we see. Sejuani. GG, let's go Sejuani. The Citrus Couriers have looked really good. We survive. You know, like we were so close to having that thing win against Burn, but you know, it's put us ahead in some of these other games. It's it's looked good. Hey Mamba Man. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, the Citrus Courier is looking strong. I'll have to consider playing more of that card. All right, let's see. I don't know, like, why am I keeping Make It Rain against Karma as... I probably shouldn't be, like, I think this is a mistake keeping this Make It Rain. I'm just kind of, a uh, an overlaps by, uh, by me. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Die. Yeah, we've had trouble in some games with two Citrus Couriers in hand with this deck before. Which the winter's claw. certainly makes sense. Okay. Definitely should have mulliganed that make it rain. But who knows? You know, we have, they're at 16. The make it rain can do one point. This can do one point. Parlay can do one point. I mean, we burn them out with one point at a time. Wow, they just rummaged away two get excited. You get excited, it's gone. Breathe out. We got a mystic shot. So speaking of burn. Deny. <laughs> <laughs> what a great what a great make it rain keep. We traded make it rain for deny. Oh, that's a pretty great trade. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Perfect keep. Many tribes under one banner. Let's go. Heart guard. Ugh. Ouch. Ouch. Well, if I would have just gone straight to combat, they would have, they could have still stunned something and I would have only dealt three, but, you know, then they wouldn't have had that trade. Um, yeah, I will like to Sejuani. Thank you. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. Words to live by. <laughs> Gotta kill it. Alright, we got damage in. We get another sweet Sejuani level up. And we got a Citrus Courier. G to the G. No, you I, you can't, the the Sejuani vulnerable only lasts for the one turn. I couldn't Sejuani, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do anything with the Sejuani. Like I could, yeah, so it only lasts on that one turn. I couldn't challenge anymore. Me in. Eyes open. The blade above all. That, that was the, yeah, that was the, they were going to concede, and so they just attacked, because the game was over. That was that attack. The game was over. Pretty sweet deck here. I feel like we got pretty unlucky to lose that one game against Burn, like where, you know, like if they, if their three cards are not nine direct damage, which they were, um, you know, we easily win that with the Citrus Courier, but they were just all nine direct damage to kill us. Um... But yeah, this was this is a, a very nice version of Freljord Bilgewater stuff. I liked this a lot. I liked the Citrus Courier that really gave us some good power at the top end. Tusk Raider was awesome. Um, yeah, I really like these cards. There's there's nothing here I didn't like. Um, even Make It Rain <laughs> did some good stuff for us. Um, yeah, just a good pile of good cards. Pretty sweet. I could see with this version maybe moving away from Starlight Seer and playing another Ruthless Raider and another Ember Maiden instead, maybe. Those cards definitely make Wolf Rider better um, and some of our other like Plunder cards better, like Sejuani and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, that they who endure, you know, that that can just happen, you know, like they have they who endure atrocity. I feel, yeah, like this deck felt really good. Like it was, I know we went three and two, but this felt like a deck that we would win like seven out of ten with. Um, yeah, I'd be I'd be pretty confident in like a four one if we would run it back. I liked it. So yeah, like these Freljord Bilgewater decks, like these are kind of like my favorite decks, and they're not getting. You know they're not getting hit at all with these uh, with the newest patch. So I think these these are like really good at decks to invest in after the patch. Um, yeah, you know like that's what I'm going to be trying 
trying to do is find like the best version of these. I think that like the two-two split with Butcher Omen Hawk is good. I play you know a similar version to th this deck with Fizz, but honestly, Sejuani is just great. Like Sejuani is probably better than Fizz. Like maybe I should go towards that more. I like yeah, I just like this deck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep work on it. I I could see moving away from Starlight Seer for Raider and Maiden. I think these cards fit this deck really well. Ruthless Raider looked really good in particular. Yeah, I know. I know Starlet Seer is so good also. I know. It's Starlet Seer is one of my favorite cards. Yeah, it's tough. Maybe you just replace Wolf Riders with another Maiden, another Raider. I don't know if that like kind of takes away from the curve there. I don't know. Yeah, you don't like mated against aggro. That's why you only have two. That makes sense. That makes sense. Ruthless Raider, though, looked really good against a lot of stuff. It's really easy to turn on Plunder with that. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, good list here, Samon. Good, good list, for sure. Okay. All right, core deck, you got a donation deck for Invincible Hecarim after the new patch. Okay, I'll save that for after the new patch. Let me just write that down real quick. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Amon. All right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, besides hitting that like button, um, you know, let me know what you think of the, you know, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the new patch, like all the, the cards that are updating. What do you think will be good afterwards? What do you want to see me play? What do you want me to see me play on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, right away after the new patch? Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's what we got. All right. But anyway, thanks so much for watching some Twisted Sejuani and I'll see you for the next video.